Overwatch 2 X Cowboy Bebop, or is it Cross or Meets, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, is underway. It's the second collaboration between Blizzard's Overwatch, a player versus player time sync that has claimed at least a year of my life and a popular anime series. And fan reaction to this event has been mixed. Integral to this event are skins for some heroes to duplicate the appearance of the characters from the anime. McCree, yes, I'm calling him McCree still, is Spike Speed. Ash, Faye Valentine, Mauga, Jet Black, Sombra, Ed, and Hammond, Ein. Okay, so you're thinking, what's the big deal? Well, two things, really. There's the price, which has four heroes' complete bundle of accessories, skins, emotes, highlight intros, at about $50. Now, not every one of these Overwatch heroes gets the same number of accessories for their bundle, though they are priced accordingly. It is important that you can pick these up piecemeal, and I did just that. I bought the Faye skin for 1,900 Overwatch coins and the Spike name card for 300 coins. But we as gamers are now attuned to the concept of collaborations being a net negative for the community. Gone are the promotional events of the past, giving away freebies. Though granted, you do get that Ein skin if you complete enough of the challenges. Instead, another party jumps in to hike the prices up. Sunshine Entertainment wants their cut of the action. Oh, now you don't have to buy skins, they're cosmetic items, they don't enhance the gameplay. But in original Overwatch, you could get everything for free with just enough light play. That's hard to overlook, and I know I harp on it way too often, but the switch to free-to-play is such a detriment to the community. Most of us still fondly recall the first Overwatch providing us with a litany of cosmetics every event. Had that first game not existed, and we said, okay, well, we have a brand new IP and it is free to play, but if you want cosmetics, you're gonna have to fork over some money. I think that would actually be easier to swallow. Now, the Cowboy Bebop event lacks a unique game type, which is unfortunate. Uh, that La Seraphim one they did actually had a unique game mode and I thought it was enjoyable. For Cowboy Bebop, we get no unique map, no game mode, but we do have divisive skins. And this is in part because Blizzard's concept of providing skins for their characters in these collaborations is the hero donning cosplay to look like the famous character, rather than going the Fortnite route where you put that character into the game. On paper, Blizzard probably thought they had a cool concept, but ultimately you end up with a highly mitigated result. Your two strongest skins in this event are clearly Mauga as Jet Black, though he's extra wide, the face is more than passable, you get what they're going for here. And Ash, looking like a cougarized Faye Valentine. Ed Sombra could have used some tweaks, maybe the goggle placement's a bit off of where Ed would have goggles. But that McCree spike, man, oh boy, where did they go with this? First shown off in an animated teaser with a cowboy hat, then when the in-game model is presented, it is Sans hat. Now, I thought this was okay because Spike didn't wear a cowboy hat, but he also had better looking hair. And McCree's face looks bizarrely full. Instead of having Spike's Jericho as a sidearm, he has the Bebop? Like, why would his ship be his gun? And we put this overcoat on, so it's like... McCree is cosplaying a spike, but it's cold outside. I'm sure there is some kind of rationale. Hey, we can't stray too far away from the hitboxes. But of the collaborations we've seen in Overwatch 2, I think this one has drawn the most ire. The bundle is overpriced, it includes characters I'm not gonna play or that I'm bad at. And hell, I'm trying to ash with this skin and I'm just awful and I have to switch back to Symmetra and take care of business. You can't even unlock the Ein skin till next week when the challenges are available. And I think they could have made my boy Hammond look more like a Welch Corgi. But despite my displeasure, my acquiring the face skin has probably sent the wrong message to Blizzard. It's tricky making a free-to-play game that monetizes cosmetics because the characters that are going to have a certain appeal are going to be the ones that have the items purchased. 
the niche characters with the low win rates and that are not picked all that often sadly my ball going to be relegated to the free skin if they are even included in collaborations well what do you think about this cowboy bebop event let me know in the comments below like share subscribe ring the bell for notifications because you know damn well youtube does not want you seeing this video